All right, we're up at the local park with Anna. She's about an 11 month old Doberman. Real nice little dog, came from a rescue. And uh, I want you to follow me as I go through this water. You know, I just came up here to the park. I brought my kids up here. because I wanted to work on Anna staying under distraction, staying focused while kids were running around and being crazy, riding their scooters and stuff. And uh, as I got up here, I noticed that we had a lot of standing water. Whenever you go out, guys, you know, you're going out to do some training, never neglect a, you know, a chance to take advantage of a new physical uh, sensation, you know, of acclimating a dog to a new physical sensation. Look at this. This is rock, and that rock's got kind of uh, algae growing on it, so some of it's rough, some of it's slippery, some of it's slippery and rough, you know. And this dog's never been acclimated to this type of uh, footing before. So I'm going to take a few minutes before I go into the actual skate park and I'm just going to walk in this water, you know. Now we've moved over into some mud. Look at this slimy, muddy stuff here. Look at that, you know. And you might say, well, Stoney, why do I need my dog to be acclimated to that? Well, you know, this is the same kind of stuff. Like if somebody invites you to come down to their lake house and they have a boat, well, you're going down to where the boat is. A lot of times there's going to be slippery stuff like that on the steps or on the gangplank to the boat. You know, you go hiking. You want to go hiking, get two or three miles out on a hike, and you got to go across an old footbridge. It's got a little bit of mud and algae on it, and your dog freaks out, and you got to pack them across it. No. You know, so every time you go out, keep your eyes open, you know, and if you see something in the environment that the dog hasn't experienced before, take a few minutes and acclimate the dog to it properly. Henry, come on. You come in here too. <clears throat> Good boy, Henry. Now, of course, I've got Henry in here. That's my mentor dog. He goes with me wherever I go. <clears throat> Keeps the other dogs on point. I've got, if you look here, let me get to where the sun, you can see it. If you'll notice, I've got my English show lead turned into a halter. Got a little bit of liver with me, right? Okay, because I don't want to carry a whole bunch of treats with me. So instead of paying a, paying a dog a lot of little treats, I just bring a little bit of liver with me because it's, you know, they like it so much. It's doggy crack. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk around out here. And as I walk around out here, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, thoroughly acclimate this dog, not only to the activity level of the kids riding around and doing stuff, but uh, we're also going to start to do these obstacles. Good. People always ask me, they watch my videos, and they're like, hey, Stoney, uh, I don't have an agility course. That's okay. Look, there's a lot nicer agility courses just in your real area than my agility course. My agility course is just a few boards and some, you know, some, some concrete blocks. Look at this. Look how fancy all this is. Show them, Eli, what we got here. Look at this is a skate park. And at a skate park, like one thing you can count on is if you go in the morning, you know, kids that skate, they don't like to get up early. So you'll have the skate park all to yourself, basically. You can just take whoever you want there. Good. And so I'm going to just come out here and I'm going to have fun on these skate park obstacles with my dog, just like a kid would have with their skate uh, board or bike. <laughs> come on. Oh, very nice. That's a very good dog. Ooh, let's go fast. Oh my gosh. Oh, very nice. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Whoa. Oh, you're so smart. Good dog. Weasel your way around this way. Very nice. I'm an old man, so I'm going to have to sit ah, down here and scoot off of here. Woo! <laughs> now, back before a couple of torn ACLs, I would have ran down there like a champ, you know, but I got to be realistic with myself nowadays. Oh, let's get a little bit of speed up, dog. Come on. Whoa! Very nice. Very nice, dog. You're so smart. Good dog. Whoa! You're a very smart dog. Oh, now let me slide down. Because I'm an old man. Slide. Oh, very good. Now can you get up here and stay? Up, 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 up. Good. Sit. Good. Now, like see, in the repetition like that, like I got her to go up that obstacle and the kids are going around, she got a little distracted. So I didn't get particularly prompt compliance on that sit. I got it, okay, but I'm used to getting a little better with her. So I'm gonna try to do it again and do it just a little better. 
up, up, up. Very nice. Sit. Oh, good. Now that was a lot better compliance. So I'm gonna come back and give her a treat. Say I appreciate it. Very nice. Oh, you're a smart dog. There you go, Georgie. Come ride your bike right around this uh, obstacle here. And you about ride your bike right around the circle right here. Good dog. Now I'm gonna have my kids come over here and ride around the circle, kind of make some noise and be crazy. Good. Very nice. The dog stayed there like a champ. So I come back and I give her a high value treat and say I really appreciate that. Oh wow, and that's just about perfect. Very good. Oh, you're so smart. Very nice. Now I might just walk around. Practice just a regular sit. Sit. Stay. Okay, Georgie. Charlotte. There you go. Good. So she might just have to sit here like a champ. That's awesome. So I tell her I appreciate it. And then we take off. Come on, come on. Oh, very nice. Oh, it's a good girl. Very nice. Come on, we can do it. Whoa. Oh, you're so smart. Oh, you're so smart. Oh, you're so smarty. Oh, you're so smart. Oh, you're such a smart girl. Come on, come on. Whoa. Oh, my old rubber boots are giving out on me, dog. Oh, what do you think? Might just take a little bit of a moment and lay up here and play with her. Oh, are you a good dog? Are you a good dog? Oh my gosh, where am I? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're a fine animal. Oh, you're a fine animal. Oh, you're a good dog. Oh, oh you're a good dog. Oh. oh, that's a fine animal. Good dog. All right, let's go down. Whoa. Very nice. Okay, Georgie, now I'm just gonna loose leash walker and you can figure eight around me here. Say I've been to prison. Oh, you're a very good dog. You're a very good dog. Very nice. Whoa, Charlotte, you're doing big tricks. I don't know if you need to be up there that high. Good dog. Might throw in some sits. Good. Now, see, now not only is this a different, from a point of view, if this is a different texture than this concrete, okay, it's also a different sound. So, like, you hear that sound, okay? So when you're out in your environment and you're doing, uh, you know, like environmental socialization, remember, like, there's a lot of, a lot of elements to the environment smells sight sound uh temperature all kinds of stuff so like i'm not having any trouble with my loose leash walking as these kids are you know riding their bikes and stuff i'm not really having any trouble with uh getting the dog to stop and sit okay yeah go up here georgie and make noise with your scooter on that metal and we'll see if that changes things and that, you know, sometimes it'll be the noise that gets them. You'll see that might make her a little nervous. She might look around. But look, she handled it like a champ. So I come in and give her a high value treat. Oh, good girl. Now look at old Henry back here. Now this is what happens, guys. If you do this stuff from the time they're puppies, they just come out here and they act perfect, you know. And uh, once they're acting perfect and you have no excuse not to take them out. Cause that's ultimately what happens right if a dog doesn't mind then you have an excuse not to take them out and do stuff with them but if you'll take one year and just you know put in a little bit of work teaching them how to behave in different environments then you get 15 years or 13 years of being able to take them anywhere and them being completely welcomed now this dog's been perfect so i'm going to take her gentle leader off here which is actually just a halter not a gentle leader all right and i'm gonna put a long line on her because although she's making good progress, she's not trustworthy like Henry, you know. I'm gonna throw my long line out here a little bit. Oh, and now she is free time. 
And that's always what you want them to understand, guys, is yes, we're going to go out and no, you're not going to be able to do everything you want all the time. But ultimately, as long as you'll come and be still and have good manners and prove to me that you can stay focused under high levels of distraction, you will get some freedom. You'll get more freedom than you ever thought you could handle, you know. And uh, that's true with the dogs. So now the dog should get her work. She got some little treats, which was the food rewards. And now she's getting the big treat, which is freedom to go and play with the kids and uh, just investigate. All right. That's all there is to dog training, guys. Oh, you're such a smarty. Oh, you're such a smarty.